dishes are coming out dirty and you made sure that you added a rinse agent. Let's see this one's got a rinse agent. And you're using the correct kind of soap. And you're kind of running your hot water first. Check the air gap to make sure that's clear, which I've already done. And the disposal drain line. And then you want to check inside here, inside the sun. So what I'm going to do is vacuum it out. But you want to be careful in there because a lot of times what happens is someone breaks a glass and lets the glass down in there and you can't really see it. And that's most often the cause of this not draining properly. So anyway, it's time to clear this all out of here. screws that hold it on here and it's normal that it keeps some water in there it keeps water in there to keep the seals wet to prevent them from drying out and cracking so you'll see a bit of water in the bottom and down inside here is a second cover we'll pull this out and again be careful if you stick your fingers in there because a lot of times it's broken glass down in there it has a little metal piece that spins and this one seems to have some debris that's stuck to it so i'm trying to pull that off now and it acts it spins it's sort of like a garbage disposal to grind stuff up but it's got like some pieces of plastic or something bound around it so that can be part of the cause so i'm gonna pull all that stuff off of there I still feel quite a bit more here. So. Fortunately, there's no glass down here. And I'm spinning the little piece of metal. It's like a little metal hook that ends around to grind up smaller food particles. You want to brush off most of the bigger food particles. Let's get rid of all this debris here. But it will grind up a, a tiny bit. And get my wet dry vacuum. Here comes some noise. See the little metal part I was telling you about. Shut the back down there. Let's see. I'll have to peek down in there better myself. Yeah, it looks like a very stubborn piece of plastic that's wrapped itself around this part here. Not the easiest spot to get into here. clear there so now we're ready to test it out make sure everything's cycling properly here yeah I think I'll wait to put the screws back in to test this out here oh. one more thing before you run your dishwasher it's a good idea to let the Hot water runs for a little bit. And that way the water heats up. And when you start your dishwasher, uh, it'll be filling with hot water. It does have its own heater, but it's still a little bit better to start with hot water. So letting it fill up there. It's getting hot now. listen for the fill cycle. I'm going to go ahead and advance it a little bit. There it is. That's the fill cycle. Once it finishes the fill cycle, we'll push it ahead to the drain cycle. Now it's gone through the fill cycle. And we'll make sure everything's, oh yeah, spraying good. The water's pretty soapy. Now we're ready to advance it to the drain cycle. So we want to make sure there's no water coming out of the air gap here. And make sure everything's going into our disposal like it should be. 
Turn it off so it's proper. This is gonna work just fine. Little plastic pieces have gotten ground up inside there. So I'll rinse this all off, put it all back together, and we'll be good to go. Like me again.